वी आर गोइंग टू नाउ मेक आर रोटेटिंग लैम्प्स तो इसके लिए हमें चाहिए ये सनबोर्ड जिसको हम सीडी की तरह काट ले चलिए इसे टेस्ट करते हैं Hey welcome back everyone I am Ishan Sharma and you are listening to Bits Cast On this episode I have an amazing person he has been the host of the famous science experiment show uh, that used to air on Pogo and other channels the show is FAQ and he is Pratik Sethi and in this video we'll be talking about exactly how did he get started in his journey of uh, getting into FAQ what was his childhood like how where did the idea of FAQ come from and a lot of other questions make sure that you subscribe to the channel like this video and watch it till the very end and you will learn a lot about him thank you so much for tuning in and now let's get into the video hello pradeep thank you so much for joining me here for this podcast episode how are you doing there bro a uh, good a uh, good hi ishan it's uh, good to uh, finally see you uh, i've been reading up the emails and uh, it's good to be here so yeah let's let's start awesome bro like you were my biggest motivation like i still remember i was back in 6th grade when i used to you know watch uh, doremon and shin chan and then i stumbled upon faq okay and then every single day i used to get up at 6 uh, o'clock in the morning okay and faq used to air at around that time so i used to get up at that time and and just to watch the complete show and uh, after that i used to spend the whole day just thinking about what uh, the experiment that you did and just think about okay how can i do that and uh, then that led me to you know building uh, remote helicopters and building some uh, remote cars and it was just a great experience that i had after watching fq so yeah thank you so much for that thank you for watching man thank you uh, i'm just really happy that the entertainment content that we were creating as a team <laughs> awesome i want to start off with your childhood i want to learn i want to know how did you start off what was your childhood like was so my childhood was lots of fun man i mean uh, i've had the pleasure of having a, a, a very scientific family so to speak uh, my grandfather is a scientist my dad uh, engines guys um, so yes i mean it's, it's been a family of of people who is um, things and i've had a fair share of uh, uh, big city life as well So uh yeah i mean uh, youth was fun man like it was it was as good as jumping into a pond or a river to like you know i mean obviously safe areas mm-hmm, uh yeah. to uh, pretty much like walking the streets of a big city mm-hmm. so yeah it's it's been a fun one in terms of that uh where did i start for science well uh, look the thing is mm-hmm. i've had a i've been very fortunate uh, to have a family which always gave science a push okay. so uh that always gave me the little uh you know the little joy of of doing things and i'm going okay, to turn this sound up to apply it as well at that age sorry did you did you used to apply it as well at that age like when you were little yes yes i have i've had some really funny cases uh, i think i was in the fifth standard or something and uh, my dad got me this science kit uh, which was a chemistry kit actually and one of the things that you had to make in that was soap and okay. i made the soap and i was like dude i can set up a soap factory <laughs> uh of course not knowing that you know the, the kind of soap that we use on our bodies uh, yeah. is very different from a science kit mm-hmm. so hard and i and must all. applied it all myself and i was burning <laughs> <laughs> so so you know there, there were always these random things that i would end up doing and uh, yeah and and then get scolded for it and then you learn that okay you know what maybe it's it's it's, it's better to do it in a slight safe environment okay mm-hmm. and and how did you go into college what was your college experience like so okay so i always actually uh, wanted to make cartoons um i i really enjoyed cartoons a lot uh, as okay. a kid i think most kids do and that kind of ca- continued forward and uh, it was um so i studied to be a communication designer which okay. is uh, specializing in animation film design um and the reason why i went there is because i wanted to change the way we guys were communicating in india and what our content in india was don't get me wrong we had great content for its time yeah. uh, but it wasn't it wasn't up to uh, uh, you know subjectively it wasn't up to the mark and i just wanted to make better content um and that's that's how pretty much i got into the line that i did uh, along the way obviously you get to do shows you get to work on films you get to do a lot of other things and and that's where i got picked up by cartoon network Mm-hmm. um because i was actually working behind the camera and then i got caught in front of it and they said hey you know why don't you audition 
and i said yeah okay i would love to and then uh, i auditioned for it and that's how faq happened uh, okay. and then from faq uh, moved on to trip creative services so mm-hmm. it's it's been a fun whose idea was it faq FAQ actually is something that we had been toying with since 2004. Okay. Um, uh, 2005. By the way, when was this recorded? When were the episodes recorded? Because I feel like uh, I just used to watch it three, four years ago, and right now I just saw you in the live stream. I was like, you have grown a lot, and <laughs> so I, I was just <laughs> yeah. surprised to see yeah, that. Yeah, it was. It was short a like, while ago. Oh, did you just go through a time machine or what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I I don't color my hair, man. Like yeah. I'm still quite young, you know. It's just that I don't color my hair. Like it's. I've had this thing. It's a genetic thing. So I mean, you know, that that's the way my 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 head is. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I want to be in front of a camera and like if somebody's shooting stuff, obviously you'll get colored because yeah. Uh, I mean, it just makes you feel so old. Mm-hmm. Um, but it helps me with my business because people will take me seriously. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm not the wisdom of uh, white hair. <laughs> like, it's, just, <laughs> it's funny that way. uh but yeah so um i think you actually started quite quite a while ago we did the research all of 2000 to the half of 2005 2006 2007 we were researching 2008 we shot uh, 2008 i think it went on air and then we did uh, two and a half seasons and two specials okay. so uh, then we were shooting till about 2010 2011 uh and then uh we kind of uh, went into smaller cuts so it became chota fqs mm-hmm. so those are like pretty much uh, repackaging the whole thing Uh, okay. and i think it's been on air ever since so mm-hmm. yeah it's it's been on for 12 years now if i'm not mistaken yeah, it's yeah. been a long time yeah it's been it's been a while yeah yeah right and then what was what were your favorite phenomena and projects if i ask you um in in uh, in science or in in in, in what within just in the broad science pers- perspective oh so i i love flight okay i've okay. always i've always enjoyed flight a lot uh mm-hmm. and i love uh i love defying gravity pretty much <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's that's something that i enjoy a lot um, making hoverboards and uh, making planes and all i've seen those episodes yeah like really anything amazing. i mean even uh, even in college we were trying to build a seat which was just on a fan so like an air cushion that could get you to like you know rather than sitting on a sofa you're sitting on an air cushion only thing is to control that air cushion is impossible uh, i mean back then it was yeah. not because uh you know the draft of air is so much whatever so coming back to the the line of thought it was just that um, yeah I've always been toying with it it was always fun um mm-hmm. yeah i like flight awesome bro and how has how has uh, you know as the time has progressed the the way to consume content literally has changed from tv and it has come to your phone right so like what uh, how has that changed you and the content that you produce so okay uh, uh okay so uh, there's something known as the hook all right yeah. uh, you get the hook right you've got everything right uh, mm-hmm. then it doesn't matter if your if your content starts every piece of content has curves in it like there's there's an attention curve to it right okay. so uh, in terms of it being right now on the phones it just becomes smaller snackable content which is mm-hmm. versus television which had larger content or film which has feature content right which is huge Yeah. Um, you know three hour sagas but now netflix has brought that to you or amazon prime has brought that to you as as uh, you know like, like binge watching as as mm. a thing which is like you have the whole season in front of you so in in that respect uh, nothing much has really changed it's just that now uh, you know we, we design content keeping in mind that the uh, specifically us keeping in entertainment or in in uh, promos we design it keeping in mind that the 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 narrative arc shouldn't be too long mm-hmm. it should be much more concise so that redemption happens quicker uh because even attention spans now have reduced like for my generation attention span used to be 2 minutes which okay, we used yeah. to be like no no it's that so less I'm like come oh, on we need more attention and everything right uh, and now they say that attention spans become 40 seconds so that's less than a minute that's like almost half and and, and much more like so Um, yeah, man. So you know, you deal with it. You work with. You work around it. But content in itself, like there's so much on planet Earth. There's so much in nature. There's so much in science. There's so much to learn. Uh, that doesn't change. It's just that you have. You just change the format slightly. Mm-hmm. Okay. And who are who are your mentors? Like, if if I, if you, if you look at the scientists and the people who have done some amazing research into science, who would be your favorite people that you look up to? Like, okay, this is the person that I have really been impacted the most from. so um 
they've been lots okay they, they, there's a whole array of them but i think i will come a little bit closer to home uh, for physics it used to be hari sir uh, in my in my college who literally taught us a very nice way of learning very complex things he used to simplify stuff for us to learn mm-hmm. uh, so hari sir was was uh, was the ultimate man and for biology i had nayak sir and okay. and both these gentlemen uh, i don't know if they still teach but they used to teach at loyalas in pune um so i've had my uh, you know undergrad un, uh, it's called junior college years. so junior college years uh, okay. 11th and 12th are you in mumbai yeah out there and then as well sorry are you in mumbai right now yes i'm in mumbai right now i'm headed to pune tomorrow i uh, just got my travel pass <laughs> okay <laughs> hey what's up which part uh, currently i'm in uh, mira road you know it's, it's uh, near to the oh. thane area yeah Yes, yes, I know, I know. We guys uh, have to keep traveling through uh, every once in a while because a lot of shoot locations are that side, right? Like, so there's uh, there's uh, Mud Island, and then uh, yeah, that whole that whole zone is there, mm-hmm. right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. So mm-hmm. sweet, man. Awesome. It's a lovely city. Yeah. So like, I study in Birch Pilani. So right now, I, I'm always obviously at home, but I uh, study in Goa right now. So yeah, that has been really amazing. i want to ask you I'll one little... question and that is uh, we like you have taught us to look at science and uh, look at it in a very curious way and when we look at what iit je exams are doing right now to us kids you know like 11th and 12th year students they have a mentality to mug up formulas you know like uh, what's the gravity between two things and that is g m m uh, you know all the, all the formulas right so they end up mugging up the formulas Whereas I think, uh, like as you have taught, and, and I think it's really amazing to understand the phenomena properly. What do you think about that? Like, do you think that that is going to dilute the uh, talent that is currently available? See, there there are different schools of thought. Yeah. Um, now, what ends up happening is there are certain. So, okay, uh, let me put it this way. Institutes, and this is again, this is a very personal view. Institutes in general want to arm you with a lot of knowledge. so that you are prepared to take on the world right mm-hmm. uh, but for you to be armed with that knowledge they want you to be already soft and sensitized to it mm-hmm. so what ends up happening is that sensitization for that particular piece of knowledge they hammer it in right so yeah. what you kind of loop, you're so clogged by the end of it you're like okay how do i even apply it because it's all stuffed in there and then you don't know how to release that information because it's it's all like archive for example mm-hmm. so uh, similarly uh, you know when it comes to uh, exams for like great institutes um, the line of thought is so that the student is already sensitized to some ideas that they're going to be expanding on for the next four years or five years um, so that they can then take on the world mm-hmm. um, but there are different ways of learning as well there are different uh, schools of teaching as well Okay. uh and in india we particularly follow a format so hence whether that format is good or bad i i don't think that is that much of a concern the concern is that the teachers who are going to be taking you forward after that uh, or you yourself pushing your you know your own vision after that is something that you should uh be very actively involved in okay mm-hmm. I have a I have a dot I have a sister of mine and she is currently in 6th grade and how should i uh, how should i you know uh, get her into this mode of thinking about science projects and making all of this stuff because generally she just goes to school and she comes back and she sleeps does her homework and again goes to school <laughs> right so like first could be like watching faq and what what else can we do to uh, get that get that emotion of you know trying different stuff and thinking differently think you should think her a lot Uh, yeah. like i mean the first thing that we learned in communication design school is design is about uh, you know finding solutions right so you have to find solutions for everything and you can't take, like no cannot be an answer when it comes to finding a better solution because that's what designers do we're always trying to find a better solution mm-hmm. so hence uh, uh, you know as for a sixth year, sixth standard kid i would just say like she just needs to enjoy herself uh, as <laughs> much as possible and just be curious about everything like yeah. how does that work why does that work mm-hmm. what is that about why did that happen what is that thing that will make that turn into something can i join so these two is, things she is she is just crazy she will ask so, a, a random questions like why is that aunt doing that why is that aunt moving in this direction why is that thing happening like this and my my parents get fed up they're like 
how why are you asking us like just google it out yourself <laughs> no it's a good thing it's a good thing i mean and um, and google of course uh, you guys are very lucky you guys have google yeah, yeah because uh, my life has changed in the past decade as well because it's just it's insane the amount of information that you can get just at your fingertip so it just it makes things fantastic mm-hmm. so yeah yeah awesome and what are you doing right now like these days um so right now we are uh, so okay so um, we just hit 50k subs uh, yeah, in congrats on, YouTube, on that right yeah. thanks man uh, so yeah so uh, that happened and then i just realized okay you know what we've hit 50k subs i need to make more videos because i was pretty much on holiday mode uh, when it came to youtube yeah. uh, so i was like oh okay we to video banana padega abhi main kya karunga so so I, i've i've just gotten the team um, on a con call on friday and we were like okay look let's brainstorm and i think this week we'll start figuring out uh, what we want to build next um so i'll get into that and uh, other than that work wise we're doing a lot of things i have this magazine that i'm a part of called animators guild of india so we kind of uh, you know write articles and stuff um it's about pushing the indian animation scene higher uh, there's also folk tales of india which is this animated series again that we're working on youtube Uh, so that's going on, and then of course there is a lot of work that we do for our clients, which is what we're working on. We're working on a channel packaging right now. We're working on a couple of promos. So yeah, so uh, exciting mix of things that are working on right now. So yeah, yeah. That's really awesome. I have one more question for you, and that is, if if uh, FAQ happens today, how mm-hmm. would it be different than what it used to be ten years ago? Like you know, you have uh, cool things happening right now in the artificial intelligence uh, field, and then you're having something in virtual reality. So how how would would it be different? Oh, it would be it would be way more um, it would be way more screen driven for sure. It would be very so okay. So we'll keep the basics simple. So FAQ and on most science show that we work with, we've kind of kept a very simple format. There's been like easy build, medium yeah. build, wow. Okay, like that's that's how we used to follow the show. So that wow would be like full virtual reality getting into VR space. Um, and, and over the past few years, we've actually built stuff which is like that. Uh, we've uh, had showcased our own 360 engines as, as well. Um, so it's 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 an exciting space to be in right now. So that definitely would follow the wow factor. Uh, okay. We even tried hologram technology. Uh, so it it yeah it would be definitely more digital now. But mm-hmm. the the simple stuff. which is the stuff again which is what you know like how i was saying the institute strand sensitize you uh, yeah. to the big things that are ahead the simple stuff would still remain the same uh, because mm-hmm. those are your those are your fundamentals right so yeah. you need to get that in uh, so yeah that's that's probably how we would follow it mm-hmm. okay and what are you most excited about right now in 2020 and going forward what am i most excited about i'm excited about life <laughs> 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 I think I think if we survive 2020, it'll be a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think I think the biggest thing for 2020 is everybody should just stay safe, stay calm. Yeah. Um, and, and make the best use stuff. of this time right now. I feel like there's so much time available to us. Like I got like a little break from my uh, you know uh, college life where I would literally be you know studying and going for lectures. And right now I don't have any of that stuff to do. So I have a lot of free time to do, and that is the reason why. I, I have started this podcast, you know, talk with people in science field. So yeah, that's very good. That's very good. It's a good thing to do. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the game, man. Like, I mean, you have to make the most out of your time. I mean, there's only that much that you have. So therefore, uh, you got to use it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Pratik. Thank you so much for joining me here for this podcast yes. episode. I hope your fans and the audience will be able to learn something from this and stay creative. about uh, you know science and technology thank, thank you so much there, um, thank you thank you thank you so much and it was a pleasure being on this one uh, wishing you the very best and have a great day thank you so much so yeah that is it from this episode guys i hope you learned something from this make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel first of all and also go to apple podcast and give five star rating to this podcast that would just mean the world to me thank you so much and i will see you in the next one i am super grateful that pratik accepted this invitation and went on to uh, have this conversation with me so yeah uh, this has been an amazing uh, conversation and also i'm just grateful about uh, what this podcast has enabled me to do right the ability for me to talk to these amazing people that i only used to watch on tv like 4 5 years ago is just crazy to be honest with you and so uh, yeah that is just why i believe so much on starting your own podcast thank you so much and i will see you in the next one bye bye